Welcome back to I Have No Clue. Today I want to talk about an army detail and uh, I'm going to explain to the people in the civilian world what it's all about. So if you're going to join, um, you know ahead of time what an army detail is. Basically what an army detail is, is when they take you off your regular job and they put you on something special, something different. So something totally different and a detail can last from anywhere from an hour to a year it depends it depends it can last for a long time um, when I was in the military I was put on details all the time I'm not sure if they liked me or if uh, <laughs> or what it was but anyhow they kind of voluntold I was voluntold to do them all the time but I actually enjoyed them I really did it got me out of the motor pool um, and it had, it had a lot of fun and met, met a lot of different people. Um, and I was gonna go over one of the details I had that was actually pretty cool. Um, what it was is, uh, it was a three-man uh, detail, and um, this was recovering drops from C-140s every day. So like when they drop supplies and stuff from a, a, a plane, you have to recover them. You have to recover them. So anyhow, uh, what was cool about it is the drops were never at the same time and really never in the same location because uh, they didn't want the wrong people uh, re, re, you know, getting these drops. So they wanted to make sure the right people got them. Um, anyhow, there was an a Air Force th uh, detail that did it and an Army detail that did it, and we worked together. And basically, whoever got to it first, um, you know, was like... I'm not going to say the winner, but, you know, th there was Air Force that was looking, and we are looking. And anyhow, uh, we got an LMTV, which is a new style, 5-ton. Um, they replaced the 5-ton. And we had radios, and uh, we'd just be waiting for the call all day long, waiting for the call um, out in the desert, just sitting there, like, hidden in trees and stuff and whatnot. And just chilling, waiting for that call of when the drop was going to be. And uh, we had binoculars, and we'd be sitting there, and it was never the same time. And over the radio, they'd come on, you know, and let us know. And then we'd watch with binoculars as, as the parachutes come down with the supplies. And uh, believe it or not, you'd think that it'd be like as simple as one, two, three, recovering the stuff. Um, it wasn't. It wasn't. A lot of times it, t it would take like uh, a while to find and sometimes the stuff would be caught up in a tree or in the brush or something and it was sometimes it was took forever to find. Um, and it was pretty cool. Sometimes we had to cut these parachutes because they were too wrapped up in trees and whatnot and then if not we'd just ball them up and give them back to the people that packed the chutes. Um, but it was mostly uh, what we were getting was mostly uh, food. Uh, mo mostly MREs. That was pretty much what we were getting. Um, and that's at least w w what I was getting. But yeah, uh, if you get a chance to do a detail in the military, uh, do it. They're fun, man. I mean, there's, it's, it's you can have special security, um, all kinds of stuff. Honor Guard, I did Honor Guard for a while, which was pretty cool. Um, but the, the best one that I remember is recovering uh, drops. It was definitely cool, just chilling, chilling the whole day, waiting for them to call, and uh, then you know, kind of like looking to find out where they landed and, and, and recovering them. Um, pretty cool. It's definitely pretty cool. Um, so, anyhow, I, I thought I'd fill fill in the newbies that are gonna go into the military, kind of give you a heads up, so when they're like, "Hey, there's an army detail." You'll know what it's about and and they never really tell you what it's going to be about until like hey you want to go on a detail and it could be six months it could be six months or whatever it could be a long time it really could be uh honor guard was for a long time um when i did honor guard i was uh i never really did the honor guard too much i'd fill in for somebody that would is going to be sick but mostly i just drove the bus i drove the bus which was kind of a plus because being a bus driver, I got to eat free when we'd stop at McDonald's and stuff like that. So um, that was kind of cool. And then some, you know, I had to learn the different jobs of being honor guard. 
uh, and just fill in like like I say if somebody was missing or couldn't make it um, but that went on for a while we drove all over the country to different funerals and whatnot so that was pretty cool that was definitely pretty cool uh, detail but yeah they, it could it could be one hour you know clean, cleaning out uh, a sewer or some crap something crappy sometimes they are kind of crappy but most of the time it's pretty 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 chill and pretty cool pretty cool so when you get in if you get voluntold or they ask you to do a detail do it man you, you'll have fun so anyhow I'll leave the comments below like and subscribe if you have any questions leave them I'll try to answer them or whatnot so uh, until next time have a good one